it feels like they've been in the works for so long and we're finally just gonna get all these treats and I'll be like um, 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 give me these treats hello everybody welcome back to the channel I'm your host Luca and in today's video we're gonna be talking about MCU characters that should be introduced soon let's get straight into the video check the mic and make sure it sound right boys so first off we've got Will Poulter cast as Adam Warlock now I'm very much excited for this personally I've only recently finished watching his show Dope Sick with Michael Keaton on Disney Plus and I was blown away. I'd only seen Will Potter in We're the Millers. Kenny, meet your new sister. This is great. I've always wanted a sister. Get it off me. Hey, come on. Get it off. Okay, cool. Get off. Sorry. And obviously he was much younger than he was basically a child. So seeing him in Dope Sick as a kind of sleaze bag, really. Pseudo addiction. Uh, we're seeing some cases, although rare, where they show the symptoms of addiction, but in reality, their underlying pain hasn't been sufficiently addressed. And the solution is simple. You know, you, you up the dose and, uh, and their uh, symptoms, you know, disappear in, in time. It's so poison, really. Uh, who has this like moral change of heart and conflict change is really interesting and I felt so much emotion in his performance. So for, for him to grow so much as an actor and then be cast by James Gunn as Adam Warlock is just amazing. Now if you don't know who Adam Warlock is, he is who Aisha, the gold bitch with a royal stick up her ass. That, my child. It's the next step in our evolution. More powerful, more beautiful, more capable of destroying the guardians of the galaxy. I think I shall call him Adam. Yeah, he is what she was creating in that golden cocoon at the end of the movie. And he's just supposed to be pretty much invulnerable, basically. Basically, gold Superman. I don't think he's got laser vision though. But in the comics, he did have an infinity stone in his head, so that's pretty cool. Zochi Gomez, I hope I'm pronouncing your name right, is cast as America Chavez. Um, her character can open portals and travel through dimensions. We see her actually opening a star shaped portal in the latest Doctor Strange and the Multiverse of Madness trailer. <laughs> You can go watch my trailer reaction to that on my channel. I'll link the video down below. America Chavez, I think, might be used as a pawn. Uh, either by Wanda, one of the many strangers, or maybe even the, the Illuminati Council that we see. And I feel like if you could open dimension, like rift through time and space, I'm pretty sure, unless you can defend yourself, yeah, you might end up being a pawn. And unfortunately for this child, I think she might be. Uh, next up, we've got Jared Leto as Morbius the Living Vampire. Now, I know people don't like Jared Leto that much after his portrayal of the Joker, but I think it was just the wrong casting. The trailer looks very good, I have to admit. I like the CG that's being used. I like the uh, portrayal of the echo location. I like how he just glides through trains. Uh, I am confused as to what universe this is set in because he has uh, a, a scene in the trailer where he talks to Michael Keaton uh, who is obviously in the Tom Holland universe and then he knows who Venom is. Who the hell are you, man? I am Venom. Oh, I'm just kidding. It's Dr. Michael Morbius at your service. And Venom isn't in the Tom Holland universe and in... In behind him in a still there's a shot of Tobey Maguire Spider-Man and I'm just like what the fuck is going on so but I want to hear how you think about all of these in the comments down below uh, next up we've got Christian Bale being cast as Gore the God Butcher and as his name gives off God Butcher he dislikes anyone who claims to be a god so that means Thor and the Asgardians Valkyrie the Grandmaster. I really think that Christian Bale was perfectly cast in this situation because as somebody who goes so method with his roles, 
I feel like his portrayal of gore is going to be so in depth and deep and detailed and he's just going to go full balls to the wall crazy Nick Cage style and I, I'm all for it and I cannot wait. Uh, I'll put up a image right now of like him behind the scenes set photo of him in his gore the god butcher guy and it looks amazing. The, this is going to be CG'd on top but for what they've made, damn, Taika Waititi, Mwah! it looks so nice. Uh, next up we've got Tatiana Maslany as Jennifer Waters aka She-Hulk. Now, I loved the She-Hulk trailer that we got. I'm Jennifer Walters. I'm a normal lawyer. Well, not that normal. These transformations are triggered by anger and fear. Don't make me angry. You wouldn't like me when I'm angry. Hopefully we end up with like Matt Murdock as Daredevil as a little cameo. Since he is a lawyer and they both uh, fight for superheroes in the courtroom, I really cannot wait to see how Tatiana Maslany looks as full-blown green She-Hulk. Because she is, uh, I think, Amazonian level, like, tall, strong. Like, she still goes to court and lives her life as Jennifer Waters, the green She-Hulk. She doesn't power down. I'm very excited. I'm just lost for words. Because it, I'm just so excited for all of these properties to come through. It feels like they've been in the works for so long, and we're finally just going to get all these treats, and I'm going to be like, um, 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 give me these treats. There is something I wanted to share with you guys. There is a new theory out on New Rock Stars by Whitney, and I really want you guys to go check it out because these are my teachers, and I'm just sharing what I learn and I like with you guys, girls. So if you could go over to New Rock Stars, chuck the link in the channel uh, description down below, and check out Whitney's theory video. I thought it was a great theory, and I won't tell you what the theory is, I just tell you that Whitney has a theory over at New Rock Stars and go check it out. Uh, on that note, guys, I've been your host, Luca. I hope you liked today's video. Peace. It sound right, boys.